kwitabira imirimo y'inkiko gacaca ni itegeko kuri buri munyarwanda umuntu wese udatanze cyangwa wanze gutanga ubuhamya kubyo yabonye cyangwa azi kimwe nubeshye mu buhamya atanze akurikiranwa no rukiko gacaca rumutahuye ahanishwa igihano cy'igifungo cyo kuva ku meza atatu kugeza ku meza atandatu nabiteza amatwi ndabasaba dufatanye ataza kugira ugwa mu mutego wa kirakintu sibyo kuko itegeko ntago ari indirimbo turirimbye ni itegeko abasomera ingingo ya 171 Today is an important day in this little village in southern Rwanda. Perhaps justice is about to catch up with the last of those responsible for the genocide here. This is the man who is to be tried. His name is Cassian. There are those in the village who say he was involved in the murder of Tutsis, although others dispute this. He, of course, denies the accusation. Witnesses have been called from near and far, and now everyone will try to remember what happened during those terrifying, chaotic days in 1994. A few of the witnesses have already been convicted of genocide. Dressed in their pink prison uniforms, they sit and wait for their turn. Will they support Cassian, or are they going to denounce him? No one knows how the day will end. The first hours are taken up with formalities, but then the witnesses come forward. During the genocide, Hutu militias set up roadblocks throughout the country, at which they captured and murdered fleeing Tutsis. Cassian was seen at one of these roadblocks. Several witnesses are certain of this. But time has passed and memories have faded. Nijamukungufu. <laughs> Kujakuribariere <laughs> Cassian admits that he often carried an axe, but he claims he used it only to chop wood. A man turns up unexpectedly, wanting to testify that he actually saw Cassian commit murder. <laughs> Cyamanutse giturutse hano igahondo 
kubantu bari bafite imitwe ngo yitwa ibinyange noneho araza ageze muhira yari arimo mu bantu bishi wacu yitu umukuru wange ngo yaje mu gitero mu gitero gitwaga cy'umutwe witwa ngo ibinyange ibinyange eh noneho bageze muhira bageze wanje eh bageze wanje papa yarapfuye na mukuru wange na mukuru wange yombira no noneho yicamo uwo bita Karisa papa nawe na mukuru wange bapfuye umunsi bapfuye umunsi bapfuye umunsi ariko ubona bashije kubona yishe ni uwo bita Karisa then the main witness arrives, a man who has been convicted and served his sentence for participating in the genocide. He has confessed, repented, and has therefore been released ahead of time. He knows that he can be sent back to prison if he lies. He describes the murdering without sentiment. Mm-hmm. <laughs>